In this presentation, we will take a look at an example of recording a tax anticipation note within a general fund. This is going to be our information. We have the tax anticipation note at the 1,070,000. We have the number of months, 6, and the interest rate, 6%. The major point we want to point out here is this is going to be the general fund, typically going to be on a modified accrual basis. Usually within the funds in the modified accrual basis, we're not tracking long-term type of activity. So in other words, for example, if we were to see a balance sheet for the general fund on a modified accrual basis, we typically won't see the breakout between current assets, long-term assets, and the current liabilities and the long-term liabilities because we typically only have the current activity within the uh, modified accrual accounting of the fund accounting within the general fund. This item here we're gonna say is in essence gonna be basically a current liability and typically we may have something such as this within governmental activity saying, hey, look, we expect to collect taxes relatively soon. We want to get a short term loan for a short term time period at a specific rate at, and we will repay it within a short term after we get in the collection on the taxes. So this is going to be that type of short term type of note. We're going to call it specifically a, a tax anticipation note payable because it is a specific short-term type note payable, we will be tracking it on the general fund here. So when we record it, then it's going to be fairly straightforward as a, as a note payable that we would typically record. We're going to debit the cash, cash increasing. We're going to credit the tax anticipation note payable, which is a liability account. Cash then increasing. That's the cash we need in order to get the things done we need to do before we get the taxes uh, cash that we expect to receive soon at which time we'll pay off the note payable here's the credit to the tax anticipation note payable increasing with a liability as we would expect then of course we'll calculate the int the interest on this simple same kind of type of calculation we would have on on the interest of a of a calculated note we're going to say here's the balance of the note we'll multiply it times six percent just remember anytime we have interest 6% unless specified otherwise means per year. So if I was to multiply it times 6%, we've got 64,200 per year. We want to get it down to six months. We could divide by two or we could break it out to a monthly amount by dividing by 12. I like to do that because that applies to basically any kind of time period. And then multiply it times the number of months, six months. And that, of course, will give us the interest that we'll have to record here. So again, note you could of course do that a few different ways. You could take the 1070000 times 0.06, 6%, divide by two, because it's half a year, six months, you could do that. When you put this stuff into Excel, oftentimes we'll adjust the interest rate, which is 0.06. You could take 0.06 divided by two, and that would be the interest rate for six months or half a year, and multiply that times the 1070000 and you get to the same 32,100, or you could take the 0.06 divided by 12, and that would be the monthly rate. This is why we don't, of course, use uh, small rates or monthly rates oftentimes with terminology because it would be given a small numbers, 0.5% in this case. But if we take that and multiply it times 1070000, we get the amount per month. Now we're at this point, and then we're gonna multiply times six months and we get to the same point so just note a couple different ways you can calculate that i would i would uh, spell it out this way the long way because that works you know with any type of calculation so once we have that then we'll record the the payment which would be fairly straightforward as well now we're assuming that we're we're going to imagine that we collected the tax revenue in this case we didn't record anything in between for this transaction but imagining now we're going to repay we have the funds to repay the loan and so we're then going to say pretty much straightforward, normal transaction. We're going to uh, remove the tax anticipation note from the books with uh, a debit. Then we're going to record the expenditures, which is kind of like expenses, which will, of course, be related to the interest in this case of a debit. And then the credit's going to be going to the cash. So once again, we're going to debit the tax anticipation note down to zero and then we're going to record the expenditure which is like the expense and it's going to be for interest and there's going to be the expenditure so that's going to go up in the debit direction and then of course the cash 
is going to be paid back cash is paid back bringing it down so once again the unusual thing or the thing we want to note here is that we have the short-term note the tax anticipation note that may be recorded whereas if we were to think about long-term type of financing activity probably would not be finding that in the general fund because it is on the modified accrual basis focusing in on typically the short-term type of activities